Hello. My name is Alicia McGuire. I am the wife of Micah McGuire, who is currently being incarcerated for a crime he did not commit. I'm a mom. I am a wife. I am a cook, a clean, a maid, a therapist, a, you know, all of the above. I'm a mom. And I care about my family more than anything in the world. And my husband is the same way. He... <sighs> speaking today on his behalf. I have a statement that Micah wrote me from the jail that he wanted me to make sure that people knew. So I'm going to go ahead and read that for you now. My name is Micah McGuire. I am currently being detained as a political prisoner in the government's quest to make an example of people like me who are exercising their First Amendment rights in protest of the federal government's ownership of 95% of land in the Western United States. I am asking for help from every patriotic American who stands for the Constitution and justice. The charges I am being faced with are significant. And if I am unable to properly defend myself in a court of law, it will leave my loving wife and wonderful three children without means to support themselves and without the father they love. The charges against me have absolutely no merit. I am charged in aiding interstate extortion and that I was a gunman who threatened, impeded, intimidated, interfered with and assaulted and extorted federal law enforcement officers. This is absolutely untrue. As I conducted myself during the protest in a completely lawful manner, my only crime is exercising my First Amendment rights. I was motivated to show up in Nevada by the Bundy Ranch in response to a video I saw of protesters not being allowed to peacefully assemble and protest by the federal government. After seeing the rights of the protesters being violated, I myself showed up to support the right to peacefully assemble and join the protest <clears throat> against the federal government owning and occupying land within states they are not constitutionally allowed to own. <clears throat> My heart was moved by what I saw, and I traveled to the protest site unarmed to see for myself what was happening. At the peak of the protest, federal agents were threatening to shoot the crowd. Some participants of the protest had firearms and were using them in an unlawful manner, but I was not one of them. I was unarmed and conducted myself as a law-abiding citizen. My only crime in standing in opposition in a civil and lawful manner against federal control of land they are not authorized to own. At no point did I ever interfere with law enforcement officers, nor did I ever brandish a weapon in any way. There were spectators amongst the crowd of protesters, unknown to me, who showed up on their own with weapons drawn, waiting in the ready. Again, at no point did I draw a weapon against any person or government agent. The only weapon used that day was a prayer, that no one would be hurt that day. I am asking for your help with lawyers and financial aid for my family. My prayer is that the truth of this matter will be heard and these false charges against me will be dropped. Please spread the word and keep us all in prayer. Like I said, he is being incarcerated for a crime that he did not commit. And we are here today pleading for your help for him and for our family. I met Micah when 
we were 15 years old. We were freshmen in high school, just babies ourselves. And we fell in love, you know? And we have been lucky enough to raise three beautiful children together. They are amazing. Malachi, he's our son, he's nine. Or I mean, Malachi is 11 now, and he is the most amazing, sweetest, kindest boy you will ever meet. We have Cassidy, she's nine. She is our little sassy girl. She is nine going on 19. And she, she, she's got attitude for days, but she will not take anything from anybody. She is her own little independent self. And then we have our littlest, Melody. She is 14 months now, and she is just a bundle of pure joy. She is so funny, and she is talking and walking and just, she's just so fun. Micah, he is the heart and soul of our family. He works three jobs to take care of us. He is always, always working. There's never a moment when his mind is not wandering and, and thinking of, of ways to better himself and to better our family. That is his number one priority. He is a Christian. He is a good man. He would never do any of the crazy things that they are saying that he did. He just wouldn't. <laughs> the only thing he's guilty of is caring. He cares so much about people and Thank you.